Anyways, yeah, so I was right there and my brother was around. So I ended up making out with my own brother, man. <laughs> yeah, that's far out, man. Oh, it was fucked up, dude. <laughs> you know what they say, like, fire like sun. Hey, you said it best, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see some naked dudes, that's why I built this pool. What? That's it? Yeah, that's all I got. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Media Blitz, our channel dedicated to the love and obsession of all things pop culture. I'm your host Jeffrey. I'm Bobby. And finally, Tom DeLonge is rejoining Blink-182. Yes! Stay tuned! <laughs> like you guys already saw the title, oh my god, Tom DeLonge is finally Finally rejoining Blink-182. This has been years, years exactly. in the making. Number one, gotta give it up to Matt Skiba. Thank you, He man. did a fucking amazing job the last couple years with Blink. He made some great albums mm -hmm. um, with, uh, what, uh, California and then Nine. Um, I love those songs. Not all of them are my favorite, but they're really good albums. Um, and the way that they're kind of like referring to them as like they're a really good experimental project uh, via Blink-182. I like it. I like that idea. So this, um, is, so this is all an experimentation for the new album that Tom's coming back. Well, maybe not say. so much that, but um, I think while Tom was off doing his own thing with mm -hmm. Angels and Airwaves, and also his own thing with you know to the Stars Media and all right. that stuff like that, I think it gave room for Mark and Travis to have that time for experimental an experimental stage for Blink One Eighty Two. Okay. And now that Tom. Um, as far as um, contractually and maybe his schedule goes, he's uh, finally able to go back to be, to doing Blink a little bit more full time than he was able to a couple years ago. I think that's finally where they're at now, and so I think um, I think Matt understood where he was at a few years ago, and uh, I think he kind of knew that this was coming, right? Because right. it yeah. was always left up in the air if Tom was ever going to come back. So right. the door uh, never closed. Exactly, it's exactly what they were, they were saying a couple years ago. Um, so yeah, I think with that being said, they came out with a fucking wonderful little video oh, and we'll react teaser. to that right now with you guys. Um, and then we'll kind of see, we'll react to another video that um, kind of explains a lot of what happened uh, prior to this reunion happening. Yeah. So let's actually get to this. Come on in, shall we? I think we should dive on in. Let's do it on in. All right. On. I should probably turn this up. I don't need that. All right. Uh, you see it? Yes, sir. All right. So if you guys have not seen this, we'll make sure to shut the hell up, so you guys can watch it along with us. In three, if I'm being two, totally honest, you know what to fucking do. I cannot do. stop thinking about them coming. <laughs> I've tried hundreds of different ways to make them come. Every night, I pray for them to come. <laughs> My husband and I would love to watch them come. If they come, <laughs> I'm getting hammered. We would do anything to make them come. That's right, honey. Yes, anything. anything. If they come, I'm gonna explode. Could you imagine all three of them coming? No, I can't. Sick. That'd be sick. <laughs> they're gonna come. I better start stretching. Whoa. <laughs> Wait until I tell my grandkids they're coming. <gasps> oh, they're gonna come. Guys, they're gonna come. They're gonna come. They're, they're coming. coming. They're coming. They're coming. They're coming. I ain't that cool, a little fucking head. They're coming. 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 They're Coming out fucking this Friday, you guys. So coming out tomorrow. Coming out tomorrow, you guys. Their tickets going on tour. So a world tour, you guys, at Blink182.com. And they're also headlining next year when they come back, the When We Were Young tour. Oh, so Jesus Christ. And they're headlining it with fucking Green Day out of all bands. So when I was growing up, Green Day and Blink were two of my time. fucking favorite bands right they did this pop disaster tour when i was like in seventh or eighth grade and i was just like fuck that would have been the coolest concert to ever ever fucking go to and now that i'm older they're doing it again damn gotta get to it. and i'm fucking going bitch <laughs> so um yes uh that was that video let's actually react to and watch this video with you guys about how um a lot of this kind of took place so um stay tuned for that in a second Camera never cut. We've always been here. We're always here. We've always been here. We've been here for years. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that was that video. Yep. They're finally coming. They're coming back. I can't wait for them to come all over the place. Oh, I can't wait for all three of them. From what I heard, they're gonna come 
all over the whole world. I hope they come a lot. They're coming all over the whole entire world. Oh, and then next year they're gonna, they're coming here, they're coming there, they're coming everywhere. Okay. Oh, we got, we all got to get tickets to come to their show. Yes, yes we do. Uh, but let's take a look at this video. Let's kind of find out a little bit of the background, uh, how Blink-182 got to this place. So yes. if you guys have not seen this, if you guys are not caught up with Blink-182's shenanigans. Well, watch this. Watch this. And three, two. It's official. Tom DeLong has rejoined Blink-182 alongside his bandmates Mark Hoppus and Travis Barker. The guys will embark on their first tour together in nearly 10 years, hitting North America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and beginning with their first ever shows in Latin America. Ooh, Plus, goodness. brand nice. new music is on the way, with new single edging. So, after years of speculation, how did we finally get here? Yeah. Well, when we caught up with Mark back in 2020, he was telling us about the band's new music plans, potentially getting ready to release a new EP. We are finishing up a bunch of other Blink songs that we've, I think we recorded for them remotely in quarantine. A couple of them we had from before, and uh, I don't know if we're going to write more or not, but I, we're trying to get an EP of like somewhere between seven and nine songs out in the fall. Hopefully that's what we're working towards anyway. Mark and Travis had been working on the music with producer John Feldman, yeah. who worked on both California and Nine. Well, I think Nine was an experimental record that, I mean, I'm really proud of being part of that album, you know? And I think with whatever is gonna come next is definitely more roots for them. Matt Skiba had also recorded roots. his parts for the tracks remotely. It's Blink, but it feels like um, a, uh, not a departure, but a progression. In a, yeah. it, 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 the songs are, I think, pretty interesting. However, work on the project was understandably halted as Hoppus shared he was receiving treatment for cancer in June 2021. Which I feel like changed everything. While work on Blink was paused, Travis continued to collaborate with other artists, including Avril Lavigne and Machine Gun Kelly, mm -hmm. on his Tickets to My Downfall and Mainstream Sellout albums. Mm -hmm. Matt, meanwhile, headed out on tour with Alkaline Trio, who were also hard at work on new music. At the same forever. time, Tom DeLong guy. returned to his Angels and Airwaves project with new music and a US tour, which saw him playing several Blink songs in the set list, including acoustic takes on I Miss You and Aliens Exist. The Aliens Exist song was interesting because um, I don't think I was doing it in the beginning of the tour, but during the tour, uh, you know, the U.S. Navy came out and mentioned uh, that UFOs were real and they mentioned my name. So I kind of took that and the day that that happened, um, I decided to throw in Aliens Exist and uh, uh, the rest is history and it was just like the perfect moment ever, you know. <laughs> Tom of course <laughs> offered his support to his friend Mark, meeting with Travis and Hoppus a few weeks after he had shared his health news. He said they got into more life stuff, what we've learned over the years about ourselves, how we've grown, how nothing really matters when it boils down to what we were dealing with in that moment. And so it wasn't some big meeting about Blink-182, it was more about brothers meeting and saying how do we support Mark. Hoppus added, it was the first time all three of us were in the same room in like five years. It's actually better than it used to be. There was no agenda. There was no lingering grudges. It felt very back to what it should be. Three friends sitting in a room. Wow, Tom wow. later spoke with us around the release of the Angels and Airwaves album Life Forms about why he thinks Blink connected so well with their fans in the first place. I think the people connected to the reality of what we were, which was... The whole package was we all came from really disturbing, broken families. We just wanted to ha redo our childhood, you know, with a bit of rebellion and a bit of like, you're the painter. You're not like <laughs> viewing what someone else is painting for you. You yeah. can paint your own picture of life. And so I think people learn that about Blink. As Mark's health thankfully improved after a successful cancer treatment, he spoke about what's next for the band, saying, I keep writing music and I'm open to whatever the next phase of Blink is. I'm hopeful for the future. Rumors began to spread that Reunion may be on the cards when Tom posted a photo of Blink on social media and added the band to his Instagram bio, but Mark wow. insisted there was nothing to report, saying, if and when Blink has any announcement <laughs> about anything, you will hear it here or from the official Blink-182 outlets. Yes. That day arrived in October 2022 as the band changed their social images to a black header and deleted all images from their Instagram account. Wow. Billboards featuring a new band logo were 
spotted yeah. around the world, Ooh. as were a series of cryptic posters all linking back to the band's website, which was also suddenly under Classic construction. <laughs> a new band logo was officially revealed, and an announcement video was released online. In a lovely piece of timing, the tour was also announced on the 8th anniversary of Tom's last gig with the band, October 11th, 2014, at the MGM Resorts Village in Las Vegas. Blink-182's tour will begin in Latin America on March 11th and will include appearances at the Lollapalooza festivals. They will then hit the US with support from Turnstile from May 4th, before arriving in Europe with guests the story so far, beginning on September the 2nd in Glasgow. Wow. They will then return to the US in October 2023 to headline When We Were Young Festival alongside Green Day. Australia and New Zealand dates will then begin in February 2024 with support from Rising against. Tickets uh. are on sale beginning Monday, October 17th at 10am local Man. time over at Blink182.com yeah, That's that your Roxanne News October update. 20. I've been James Wilson-Taylor. We will see you again soon. So once again, if you guys were not already caught up, that is a little bit of the background where Blink was coming from from the last couple years. Um, Who knew? Who knew? I didn't know. I knew. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just, I'm really happy to see that whether it was Mark's situation, right? right Mark's health situation right. that um, that escalated Blink to coming back together or for whatever it was, I'm just happy that it actually did get together. They got back together. Um, I'm really excited for their new music Start because new Edging new sounds like a really good song from what they already, <laughs> right? <laughs> from what they already sneaked already. Yeah. Um, I don't think they they uh, said anything about what the title of the album is going to be, no. right? Have anything like that. Um, the, the new song drops this Friday, so I think we're going to find out what the album might be called. Um, tickets go on sale you said, what, the 17th, right? October 17th? No, th yeah, tickets go on sale on Monday, October 17th. Yeah, at link If you guys aren't already subscribed, hit that button right down below. Ring that bell to stay notified of any videos coming your way. And see you there. Bye.